super cool to have a conference that's dedicated entirely to a single topic about species on the move. I have enjoyed most uh, the diversity of, of uh, topics and talks and interacting with people from all over the world about species movements. It's been very exciting. What this conference reflects is the number of people that are, are concerned about the issue and tackling it in a scientific sense from a, a lot of different issues. And also, I feel like I've seen a lot of people, besides the science, who are also involved in, you know, maybe not directly in policy work, but are, are clearly um, talking to stakeholders, you know, doing the kind of work that could be used as a way to maybe mitigate some of the negative impacts. I've been actually able to meet a lot of people who have been really sort of, I've been wanting to meet for a long time. So you trust more sometimes someone that you've met and so face-to-face -face interaction cannot be replaced by Skype and I think that's what we get out of those conferences. There's some, some rock stars of the science world here that sort of read all, read all about them but have never met them so it's been fantastic to get a chance to, to meet them as well. Every day is like a Christmas. I can listen to many exciting and interesting speeches. I mean for me it really broadens my horizons. This is a chance to see a vast portfolio or a range of statements from natural scientists on a crucial moment in human history, which is the fact that all of these species are on, on the move. So I think we are in a, in a crossroads and this is a one, one of the places to try to understand what it means and how does it look like. You know, in the past at coming to conferences like this, there's a lot of doom and gloom and there is that here as well. But then I've seen a bunch of talks that are really making the most of uh, the situations. And I think it's really great to um, go beyond just looking at range changes and actually finding potentially some hope or some somewhat solutions or ways to deal with climate change. The potential here for this conference is to make a global statement that climate change is not about only about reductions or numbers or economy, it's about nature and species. And that in itself is a profound understanding of 155 abstracts that we can try to take further into other forums where actually we try to put nature and biodiversity back into the discussions regarding climate change. The destruction of habitat for cities and for agriculture and for mining, that's something where we're competing with species. In terms of mitigating climate change, we're on the same size as species. So that makes me positive because we're not fighting against each other, we're fighting for the same thing. So we have to decelerate the rate of climate change for ourselves as well as everything else. Yeah, a, lot of, a lot of the bigger, most interesting things have come out in papers recently and certainly read a lot of the work of the people here and um, so it's good to hear the, the extra bits that people don't get into the papers and things. So. Anything that allows conversations and ultimately solutions to address the survival of species, including humans, is a positive step. It's been really, really fantastic. It's been a huge success. I, I hope they do it again.